going on guys today i'm going to show you this crazy face match cut inside of after effects plus a few bonus effects that you can use to make this transition hit even harder and you can even reuse these bonus effects for any other type of transition so if you are new here and this is the kind of sauce that you're into make sure to drop a like and subscribe it really helps out the channel a ton make sure you watch the whole video through so you do not miss out on any sauce and if you want that extra sauce to help level up your editing i sell my personal assets and presets on my website down in the description below so if you want them Go check it out but anyways we're gonna get straight into the tutorial so right here inside of after effects i have my footage lined up and i'm gonna be wanting to transition between these two clips and right here in my other comp i have selected the frames that i want to match cut into and i'm gonna be showing you how to freeze frame them and then we're gonna be adding them to this comp right here so for this first one right here what you want to do is if you have fx vault you can just click freeze right here and it'll instantly freeze it and if you don't have fx vault right click go to uh time right here and just click uh freeze frame right there and it'll basically do the same thing. So now that all of my frames are frozen, what I'm gonna do is throw them into a pre-comp right here. And I'm just going to copy and paste it over to my other composition. And I'm just gonna drag this footage right here to the end. And we have our freeze frames right here, but they are misaligned. So I'm just going to center them just like that. So I'm going to go inside of this pre-comp right here. And now what we're gonna do is align every single face in these frames. So what you're gonna do is just come over to this button right here and click proportional grid. And you're gonna get these green grid lines that pop up. And all you have to do is pick a point and make all of the other frames match. So I'm just gonna click S on my keyboard and I'm gonna scale it down a bit or actually bring it up and have her line up in this square. So with the nose right here on the tip and it is a bit too short. So I'm just gonna slightly stretch the clip just like that. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the next clip. I'm gonna be using his face right here. So I'm just gonna select this clip right here, click S, and I'm just going to put his nose right here in the middle and scale it up. And you just want to rinse and repeat the process until all of your frames are done. So once you're finished, you should have something like this. As you can see, everybody's nose is perfectly centered on that middle point right here. So what we can go ahead and do is just deactivate the proportional grid. So now back in our main comp, we have our freeze frames perfectly lined up just like this. And now we're going to be getting into the effects to make this look 20 times better because right now it just looks pretty mid. So the first effect that we're going to add onto this is going to be a radial blur. So we're just going to search that up and you can leave it default. I think default looks completely fine. We're going to come here, add an adjustment layer and we're going to add transform. And inside of transform, we're going to keyframe scale at 100 at the beginning. And we're just going to up that right here at the end to like 110 so now it zooms in progressively just like this and for the ending frame we're also going to scale it up to make it match the uh freeze frame so we're going to click proportional grade once again click s on the last frame and we're just going to bring this up and have his nose right here in the center keyframe the scale and the position and we're going to come all the way to the end and just reset those values so the position would be 1920 and the height would be 1080 just like this and i'm just going to recenter this right there and bring down the scale to 100 or actually it was at 110 to begin with just like that so now it just zooms out and we do get that match cut right there at the end as well and what i'm going to do to add a bit more sauce to this right here is i'm going to add a solid a white solid so i'm going to come right over here to solid and i'm going to add a fill to it to just make it white just like that and i'm going to make that one frame long so i'm just going to cut that right here go one frame ahead and cut that and now i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to throw this other one underneath and now what i'm going to do is click g on my keyboard to bring up the pen tool and i'm going to click on this point right here and try to make it as straight as possible and just mask around it just like that on the bottom one and now for the top one we're going to do the same thing but towards the bottom just like that it only covers half of the screen and that is exactly what we're going for and now we're going to be working with both of these layers so i'm just going to toggle these layers back on and i'm going to move this one right there so it does bottom flash and then the top just like that and then it transitions so what i'm going to do now is grab these two white solids throw them into a pre-comp i'm going to add gaussian blur i'm going to scale the gaussian blur all the way up to something like 147 just like that so now it just looks a bit softer and we have a cleaner like transition point right there and you can even add some like deep glow to it or like some regular glow to kind of like make it a bit more progressive yeah that looks super fire and what we're going to do now is add an adjustment layer as well and we're going to make that a bit longer than the uh, two solids right here. And we're going to add an effect called exposure. And right here, right before the white solid starts, we're going to keyframe the exposure to like 2.6. And right here at the beginning, bring it back down to zero. And we're just going to duplicate these layers and add them to the end. And we're just going to reverse the keyframes. So we're going to have the white solid come in right there and then have the exposure right here and just switch the keyframes around 
just like that. So we have a flashing out as well, which looks super nice. But I do have a better idea for this uh, transition right here. What I'm gonna do is actually just duplicate this pre-comp, right? And I'm gonna take radio blur off the top one. And now what I'm gonna do is come over here to the ellipse tool. And I'm just going to drag right there, not covering the entire face because we do want to feather out the edges to make it look a bit more natural. So as you can see, we have the mask. If I were to turn the uh, top layer off, it just adds a bit more clarity to it, but we don't want these kind of like harsh borders right here. So what we're going to do is click M to open up the mask if you don't already have it open. And you're going to click this little arrow right here and just open up the mask feather. And you just want to bring that up to something like, I don't know, 66. So now we don't have those rough edges around the face anymore, which actually looks so much better. So now this is what it's starting to look like. We're pretty much almost there and we're just going to add like one or two more things to actually tie it all together. And what I'm going to do right here for the transition of these match cuts right here, I think on this adjustment layer, I'm going to add this uh, effect for my energy V3 presets, which is not out yet, but I'm just going to show you guys what it can do is this handheld shaking effect right here. And it just adds a bit of subtle movement to it all. So I think that would actually look super fire. Let's play that through. Yeah, that looks super cool. We can even actually speed it up. I think it would look a lot better if it was faster. So I'm just going to close all those keyframes. And I'm going to grab these layers. And I'm just going to pre-comp them for now. And I'm just going to click speed right here on FX Vault. And I'm just going to drag this clip and the adjustment layers on top back to where they should be. So now it's going to be a bit faster and it should look way better. Yeah, that looks absolutely fire. So that's going to be a wrap for today. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel once again. And also a quick reminder before I go, Energy V3 is coming out July 14th. And for everybody that already has Energy V1 and V2, Y'all are going to be getting 50% off Energy V3. So it's going to be a no brainer. You're going to want all of these three packs in your arsenal for music videos. It's just going to make your life as an editor a lot easier. So mark your calendars. It's going to come soon and you guys are going to love it. But on that note, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.